Today we're going to be talking about something that goes a little bit with the fitness Ayurveda aspect of being able to help your community and being strong enough to be able to have uh, strength to pick up your neighbor or endurance to be able to pull them to a certain area so that you have those things. Now with that, a lot of the preppers on YouTube talk about uh, what to do if somebody comes to your door. And I want to talk about that for us as far as what we do and where I see being an Ayurvedic prepper fits in. And that is, if you're an Ayurvedic prepper, you're about helping the community. You're not about saying no to somebody that came to your door because they need assistance. Uh, in some of them, they're talking about uh, SHTs, shit hits the fan, uh, where you're getting people that have been starving for weeks and they're coming and they're going to try to take your... Uh, money, your gold, your silver, your bullets, your guns, all those things, and all your food and water. That's not where I'm looking at this to be. I'm looking at this as, again, hurricane, tornado, uh, a problem that has kicked in and power is out, water is out, and it could be several days. Overall, you should have enough water and food to last three to seven days, no matter what. And that can be in any types of food. But what I want to talk about now is I have enough food. We have enough food to last, say, seven days. We're good. We got enough food. But what if your neighbor has never thought about prepping? What if you're in downtown St. Pete, like we are, and there's a lot of condos and apartments. And half of them didn't think about it. Now, what are you going to do? Are you going to watch them starve? Are you going to watch them not have water for three, four days? Are you going to expect that the government is going to give them food and water? No, you should not do that. You should be taking responsibility for yourself. And also try to take responsibility for your neighbors, at least to some degree. So for us... And I have nothing in my hands, no, no things here, and that's why, because each person is going to be different. For us, we keep about 100 extra bottles of water. We keep some canned food that we don't eat. We keep some things that will be able to help our neighbor if our neighbor needs some water, if our neighbor needs some food. So there's things, you can make little to-go bags that you give to your neighbor. Here, have this, this should last you for three days. Have this, it should last you for two days. Who knows whatever it's gonna be, but if you have multiple neighbors, you should start thinking about what would they need to eat. And it doesn't have to be fancy because a can of Chef Boyardee's is much better than nothing. I like me some SpaghettiOs on occasion. But anyways, uh, having something that people can have to eat, having some water for them so that they can be able to at least survive until things get running again. Along with that, there is places that you can get water and knowing that can help your neighbors. Most people have a hot water heater and if you know how to get the water out of the hot water heater for your neighbor, they now have enough water that will last a while. If you know how to purify water, you're going to be able to help your neighbor to stay healthy along with yourself. You really don't need to worry about purifying water for, say, seven days out of electricity because you prep for that. But your neighbor might not. So they're going to need to know that the back of the toilet bowl is probably going to be good water to drink. It might not sound good, but they might need to be able to purify it first and then put it in. So if you already are prepped for that, also uh, most condos and most apartment complexes, most businesses have water out front, and that's by having hoses. And if you know how to open those and drain water, you can get water for yourself and for your neighbors. So those are things that you want to look at is how can I help, not just myself because you prep for that, but also how can I help my neighbors have water and have food 
so that they can survive in a, a time where you might not be able to get food and water for a couple days. You might want to need to be, you might want to need to be, I don't know if that's proper language, but you might want to even be able to cook for them. Having a little get together to make bonding kick in, make people feel like they're part of the community. That also is great for morale. And when people have great morale, they're going to be able to last longer with no food than people that don't have good morale, that have food. So being able to build morale in your community is also a very important part of being an Ayurvedic prepper. So some of the things that I talked about as far as getting water, there's a great video by City Prepper. Uh, we'll put a link in our uh, stuff so you can see it. Uh, he's, he's got some great information on that. So going to him can also show you how to get water when your neighbors need help because you'll already be prepared for that. Thank you, and we'll talk soon.